The University of Rio Grande would like to welcome all players, officials, and spectators to tonight's contest. As a member of the NAIA, the River States Conference, we're committed to the true spirit of competition as champions of character, embracing five core values, respect, integrity, responsibility, servant leadership, and sportsmanship. We ask each of you as a participant, official, or a spectator to abide by these values by creating a positive environment in which our athletes may participate, our officials may work, and you, the spectator, may enjoy. Please enjoy tonight's contest. As you know, today marks the 20-year remembrance of the terrorist attacks in both New York City and Washington, D.C., as well as the averted second attack on Washington, which ended in the downing of United Airlines Flight 93 in Shanksville, Pennsylvania. At this time, we ask you to please rise and observe a moment of silence in honor of our police officers, firefighters, first responders, members of the military, and to the 2,977 souls that were lost on that tra in those tragic events which occurred on September 11, 2001. Thank you. Please remain standing, direct your attention toward the flag next to the line center as we honor America with the playing of our national anthem. Let's meet our starting lineups for tonight's contest. First of all, four of the visitors from Shawnee State. In goal and wearing number one is Boss Marcus. Number four is Bram Voskalen. Number five is Cherry Vandenberg. Number seven is Jack Sharman Dodd. Number eight is Nathan Ewing. Number nine is Bobo Kikonda. Number 10 is Jao Toledo. Number 16 is Eli Moore. Number 17, Kevin DeLang. Number 21 is Carlos Bravo. And number 48 is Guillermo Martin. Head coach of the Bears is Ron Goodson. His assistants are Ryan Warner and Dylan Whitehead. Now let's meet the starting lineup for the home team on the scoreboard, the University of Rio Grande Red Storm. Wearing number one in goal is Daniel Moreno Correa. Number three is Rodrigo Basso. Number five is Silas Machado. Number eight is Charlie Checklax. Number nine is Nicholas Kim Oralana. Number 10 is Ewan McLaughlin. Number 12, Diego Montenegro. Number 14 is Diego Martinez. Number 15 is Gabriel Silva. Number 17 is Callum Malanafi. And number 55 is Kyle Mazo Noguera. The head coach. Of the Red Storm is Scott Morrissey. His assistant is Harry Robinson. Gentlemen, it's game time. Direction on that Rio lineup, apparently number 19, Benjamin 
Good evening and welcome to Emily Davis Field for tonight's men's soccer contest here between the Bears of Shawnee State and the Red Storm of the University of Rio Grande. Should be a good contest between these two sides tonight. Plenty of international faces on both teams. Scott Morrissey's side have had an interesting start to this season, winning their first three games and then losing their last two. So they'll be looking to bounce back tonight here against Shawnee. Shawnee State started three and one on the year. A positive start for them as they look to continue their campaign this season. It, it appears to be an improved Shawnee State side as well. Um, one is a good start for them, a lot of international players. Well, that's the thing, Shawnee haven't used to, didn't used to have all these international players on their roster. It used to be very American based, very local based. And in previous appearances between these two sides, Ryo have always generally walked over Shawnee State due to the fact that we had that international, uh, that international experience, which they didn't. Uh, but this year it could be something slightly different. We could be in for a good good fight between these two teams tonight. Absolutely. Even the American base players, um, you've got Cincinnati, Ohio, Ashland, Kentucky, um, very, very few from just down the road. So, I mean, but then you also have to look at the Red Storm side, you don't see a single American player on their I mean, roster. Oh. And that's not just on their main roster, that's on their whole 74-man roster. So. Yes. Anyway, the Red Storm kickoff here. Mazo Nuera plays out to Callum Alanafi. Benjamin Cam looks like he picks up in the midfield. Plays across to Silas Machado. And McLaughlin here. A couple of changes for the Red Storm since their last home game. With Maza Nuegra starting, which wasn't the case two weeks ago. It's so good to see uh, Kyle and Maza Nuegra in the game as well. He's coming back from a foot injury. He's worked very hard to get back, and it, it's great to see him out on the field. I spoke to him before the game, actually. He's thrilled, thrilled to have this chance. I believe it. Anyway, good ball over Ooh. towards Charlie Checklack now. Turns inside the area. He'll lay it off towards Callum Lanafi. Ball is a bit short, though, and it will be cleared by Shawnee State. Only as far as Benjamin Cam. Sherman Dodd now picks it up. However, it will go out for a throw-in to the Red Storm on that far right-hand side. Pull back in here now with the Red Storm. Machado will play it over to Diego Montenegro. The Red Storm will look to dominate possession as always. It's been a key of their game over the last couple of years. It's just keeping the ball, moving it side to side and wearing down the defense of the opposition. Ball played forward towards Milanofi now. His delivery towards the edge of the area. No Red Storm players there to meet it. McLaughlin picks up. Finds Montenegro on the left side. His delivery is deep. And he's headed away by a Shawnee player. So Red Storm will retain possession with the throw in. Kyle Milanofi to take the throw. He's got a big target in the box to aim at. Cam shoots just over the bar. Two Cam Orianas on the field tonight, uh, both Benjamin and Nicholas, both brothers from Chile, uh, based in Santiago. So obviously Nicholas coming off that ACL tear that he had, it was two years ago now. Um, he missed out on the whole of last season due to it. Good to see him back now once again. And what I've seen back in the goals as well. McLaughlin finds Cherklack. Down this right-hand side now, Benjamin Cam. Looks for Cherklack once more, he's onside. It ball into Nicholas Cam. I think there was just enough pressure from Kikonda at the back post to put off Nicholas Cam from, uh, from what would have been a fairly easy goal. Uh, if he had made contact with the ball. It's good play uh, up the outside, the wide areas. 
Rio is so used to dominating those, getting their fullbacks forward. Kick on the now on this right side for Shawnee State. Looks to drive at Rio. However, Sherman Dodds ball is loose and will go out for a goal kick to Rio Grande. Should be taken by Daniel Moreno Carrera. Played quickly up towards Montenegro. Check like that. Finds McLaughlin. McLaughlin switches over to the far side to find Milanofi. Milanofi driving forward with it now. Does lose out and fouls the Shawnee State player, who I believe is Nathan Ewing. I think Shawnee State will try and control possession, but Royal Grand's press is, uh, is one that so many teams just fail to, fail to be able to counter. Uh, Royal press very high. They really get stuck into the opposition and gives the opposition very little space to move. Yes, and you can hear Coach Morrissey as well, urging his guys forward. Benjamin Cam did. I think he knew he was offside there. He did uh, try to deceive the linesman over there by trying to make the run late. It was given offside in the end, though. He'll be a little bit upset at himself for that one. Yeah, I think he was. Acres of space to run into. He had a lot of space over on that far right-hand side. and. If he just held his run a little bit more, he would have definitely had an opportunity to put the ball into the box. Loose pass from the Shawnee State player. Throw in taken quickly by Montenegro. Ball comes across now to Callum Lanafi. Got Montenegro with lots of space. Can't give Montenegro space at all because once he gets space down that left side, he'll be gone. He'll play little one-twos off uh, off players and just break up lines. He's a very effective left back. Fantastic player. In the past, when I've done commentary, I I, I tend to say so many good things about Montenegro and, and Czechlas in the middle as well. Charlie is a player that that we talked about the Rio press earlier. He makes it work. Covers oh, oh, so much ground. 100%. Charlie's the, Charlie's kind of the one that almost starts the press he's the one that tells the players to go and it works so effectively because they know when is the right time to press and when's the not not the right time who comes out now to montenegro find it plays it back to machado into nowhere ball is switched over towards benjamin cap a good run from milanofi as well Still Benjamin Cam here on the edge of the area. Does try to shoot. Still with the Red Storm inside the area. Referee waves away any claims of a penalty. Not that there were any. Lanafi regains possession here for the Red Storm. Basso switches over to Montenegro. Again, another long ball looking to switch the play for the Red Storm. Cut out by Shawnee State. They will look to attack now. Ball looking for Kakonda is cut out by Montenegro. He does win it back, however. Fan in now for Shawnee State. Benjamin Cam wins the possession back. Finds his brother Nicholas. Now to Czechlak. His ball. Can't find Gabriel Silva, and Shawnee State will regain possession. Benjamin Cam does win it high up, though, for the Red Storm. Gabriel Silva, oh, it's a good step. It's a good step by the Shawnee State player. Carlos but again, Bravo. another good step by Montenegro there. He now delivers. It is cleared. Kikonda now on it. Kikonda is a native of the African nation of Congo. He's been lively all game. I think he's definitely one that the, uh, the Red Storm will have to watch out for. Seems like a very quick player. Absolutely. Uh, goalkeeper, 6'7", 
the Shawnee State goalkeeper, Bass Marcus. I mean, when you're 6 7, you're basically taking up the whole goal anyway. So it's going to be interesting to see if the Red Storm can beat him this evening. He Shawnee looks a bit like uh, Thibaut Courtois, the Real Madrid goalkeeper. Oh, he does a little bit. Shawnee State now on the edge of the area, taking a shot from range. Dipped to the last minute and did hit the bar. I feel like uh, Correa thought that was going well over his bar. It did dip at the last second and collided with the crossbar. Opportunity there for Shawnee State. Probably the best chance of the game so far. Completely against the run of play as well. I think that's what the Red Storm have had issues with all season so far. Is It's just they've, they've dominated games, but just against run of play. Montenegro now down this left side looking Ooh. for Silva just in front of him a ball is hacked clear by uh, Voskiken Voskielen Vos they've got a lot of Dutch players on their squad I'll say that uh, but it is hacked clear for a corner it will be Charlie Czechlak who will take it and that's the third or fourth time this game that they've really tried to find Gabriel Silva in the box a dangerous player Shawnee does not want the ball to come into his feet. Machado does win the header. However, there was a foul given on the goalkeeper. I think uh, just a little bit too much pressure by Mazo Noguera. That's Marcus now playing it out. Kikonda again. Shoved off the ball. Wins a free kick for Shawnee. He is dangerous. You can tell they've, um, you know, they're number 17, uh, Kevin DeLang and um, Kikonda have, have both come on this side and they've done a good job of keeping Diego Montenegro out of the attack. Well, when, when there's more than one person staying on the right side, Montenegro can't go forward as much as he'd like to. And I think that's probably something they have targeted. Yes. Ball in now. Correa does manage to claim after a little bit of one-two head tennis from DeLang and uh, Shaman Dodd. Red Storm now looking to regain possession and relax into the game. Nicholas Cam now. McLaughlin plays it. Switched across now. Benjamin Cam. He looks to find Callum Lanafi. Can he get there? Who is able to keep the ball in. It's a great ball in Ooh. towards Gabriel Silva. Just over him, however. Czechlak can't pick up on the loose ball. However, it does come back to the red store. McLaughlin now. Looks for Montenegro. Charlie Czechlak. Out to Milanofi. Back into Czechlak. Inside Shawnee State's box now. Ball is delivered. It has stayed in. And Montenegro will pick up for the second ball in. A good Silver. Header. Didn't get the power behind the header. He was always going backwards. So it's difficult to really gain power on those headers. Did well to get it on target though. But fairly easy for Bass Marcus to come and claim that. Good to see Montenegro finally getting up the field. Well, that's what he can do when he gets up there. He's incredibly good at uh, putting in deliveries. Uh, he's, I don't know how many assists he's got as a Red Storm player, but it's definitely not below 10, I'll say that. <laughs> Shawnee State give the ball away. Gabriel Silva picks up now. Looks for Czechlak. Benjamin Cam will deliver. Looking for his brother Nicholas. Shawnee State able to clear for now. McLaughlin gets a foot in to Milanofi. Gets it back as well. Nuegro will find Montenegro. Back into McLaughlin. Will look to switch over towards Benjamin Camp. Who beats his man nicely. Should be a foul. Is a foul given against Benjamin Camp. Fanning is going to have his work cut out on that on that right-hand side against Benjamin Cam. 
Uh, obviously, Benjamin Cam, the younger brother of Nicholas Cam, who uh, has come in this year and uh, has already been well in the goals this season. I believe he's got five already so far this season. Usually, it's the number you see of Nicholas. He delivers now. Goalkeeper comes out and punches. Benjamin Cam is able to beat his man once more. Wonderful turn. He's going to have one. I believe that's taken a deflection off the Shawnee State defender. It has. It will go out for a corner. Which Benjamin Cam will go over to take. Ideally, really, in this situation, there's kind of two people you're looking for. Maybe three now. It's Silas Machado, Benjamin, uh, Nicholas Cam, and Gabriel Silva. Really, the three people you want to hit here. Ball does get delivered in towards Nicholas Cam. It is cleared, however. McLaughlin will pick up the ball. Back to McLaughlin. He finds Czechlach. Ball will come across towards Montenegro. Nicholas Cam will switch over to his brother. Ball in towards McLaughlin. He's able to keep it in. He's played off Benjamin Cam and will go out for a Shawnee State throw in. You love to see the lateral movement from the University of Rio Grande. They're just looking for a window to attack into. McLaughlin wins the ball back for Rio. The land of East pass is loose. Kikonda picks up. Shawnee looking to attack. So far, a struggling really to break down Rio's defense. Rodrigo Basso may have recently touched the ball for the first time this match. I think it might have been his first touches of the game, honestly. I don't think he's really been involved. Um, ball, great ball played over to Czechlak now. I'd love to see his heat map at the end of the game. He covers a lot of ground. He, he loves running, and it's, it's strange because you ask him, he says he hates it. But ball in by Montenegro yes. now. Comes out to Milanofi. He will deliver towards the back post. Just over the top of Nicholas Cam's head. Kikondo will break for Shawnee. Shawnee tried to switch the ball over. There's just no pathway forward. You, you, they want to hit Ryo on the counter attack and. They, the University of Rio Grande does such a good job of defending Great challenge the numbers from up the McLaughlin pitch. as well to intercept there. Basso on the ball here. Finds Czechlak. Plays it across to Montenegro. Ball will be played back into McLaughlin. A little loose on the touch and Shawnee will come away with possession. Shawnee just feel like they're hurried over every single pass they have to make. Doesn't seem like they're getting any time to relax on the ball. Lanafi wins that header. Only as far as DeLang, who will drive forward, plays it out to Kikonda. Kikonda looks to beat his man. McLaughlin makes a good challenge to intercept. Still with Shawnee, though. DeLang now. DeLang will try to cross in. Lanafi does clear it as far as Benjamin Cam. And Benjamin Cam does give away a free kick in a dangerous position here. Uh, Shawnee in a good area to have a strike on goal with the free kick. Looks like two players standing over it. One is Van der Burr. And I believe the other one is Joao, Joao Toledo. a dangerous area. Shawnee have got their big men forward and this could be another opportunity to really test Correa in goal. It will be Toledo to strike. He doesn't he go short to Van der Burr. Ball into the middle. A couple of deflections. It will go out for a corner to Shawnee State. Tried something off the training ground right there. It wasn't a bad set piece routine. Uh, caught Ryo off uh, guard. 
I feel like if they had someone just on the edge of the area that they could cut that back to, that would that would have made that set piece routine even better right there. Absolutely. They've got another opportunity on the corner. Still not completely dealt with. Ball is flicked on towards the Lang. But his header is wide and over the bar um, for Shawnee State. So Rao will have a goal kick here. They do play a short to McLaughlin. Who is another one who his heat map would be all over the place. Oh, absolutely. Ewan is uh, one of the fittest players, if not the fittest player in the squad. Um, the amount of work he does off the field is, is remarkable to keep his, his body in peak physical condition and, and fitness. Full lump forward now. Absolutely. He's a wonderful person off the pitch if you ever get the chance to know him as well. A great captain for his team. Into McLaughlin. Plays it through to Montenegro now. And for Montenegro getting forward. Ball is still in. And it, ooh, I, oh, thought, I, I thought he was able to keep the ball in there, Montenegro. It has gone out for a corner, though, to Rio. Gabriel Silva did have the ball in the back of the net yes, for a did. couple of seconds, but unfortunately, Montenegro wasn't able to keep that ball in. And now the Shawnee State players will take a deep breath and absorb more pressure from the University of Rio Grande. Check like with the corner now. Handed away by Bass Marcus. Cleared again by Shawnee. Milanofi does well. Benjamin Cam now. Looked to switch over to Czechlak. Couldn't make it. Intercepted by Shawnee. Rio now on the ball again though. Milanofi on this right side. Into Nicholas Cam. Back towards Milanofi. Oh. Nicholas Cam just took maybe a split second too long. Yes. With playing Inches that ball. Right there. And uh, unfortunately, Milanofi was just caught in an offside position. Surely State will get us back underway with Bass Marcus. Ooh, switch cross looking for Kikonda. And a spoon clearance will go out for Ragrand Theron, which Montenegro will throw into Machado. It's good to see a couple of uh, the seniors from last year return after they were allowed their extra year of eligibility by the NAIA. We see Callum Lanafi, Ewan McLaughlin, and Silas Machado in the starting 11. Obviously, Sam Pedersen and Connor Payne as well returned. It's a wonderful sliding challenge from Mazo Nagira. He's right. really made his presence known in this first half. Gabriel oh. Silva looks to turn his player. It does run through to Bass Marcus, but a foul is given against Shawnee State. Bass Marcus has kicked the ball away into the stands. If I was the referee there, I'd be handing him a yellow yeah. card. Um, I think that was a little bit of frustration from the Shawnee State goalkeeper right there. Absolutely. It's another chance for Machado to get forward. Ooh. Silas, who led the team in goals with his head last season. As I think he has for the last three years as well. Benjamin Cam will stand over the free kick for Rara Grand here. Delivery in now. In towards Gabriel Silva. Keeper does come and claim well. I mean, when you're six foot seven, you don't really even have to jump when it's up there. He's got long arms as well, so I mean, I don't know what his reach is, but it, it's pretty, it's pretty big. The goal definitely looks small with him standing in front of it. Oh, 100 percent. Basso now finds Milanofi. Into McLaughlin. Rai will just look to keep possession here. Machado. Nicholas Cam looks for Charlie Czechlak. 
Shawnee will try and go forward. However, the ball is too long. Machado will clean up. He'll find Basso. To Milanofi now. Into Silva. Great hold up play from him. Allowing his team to get numbers forward. I think that's really the one thing Rao missed last year was that big hold up player. Um, obviously with Nicholas Cam being injured all season um, we didn't really have that that hold up player up front and Gabriel Silva's come in and done a great job as that kind of player will be a red storm throwing well inside the Shawnee State half Silva who's part of a trio of Brazilians on the field right now for the University of Rio Grande several more on the bench it's definitely a change from when I first came in uh, four years ago when the majority of the side was predominantly English um, and we had one or two South Americans. Now we've got a lot more South Americans as part of the squad. But we still got a lot of English players as well. So <laughs> Good tackle from Charlie. The Shawnee State player has... Uh, Taking a tumble there, I'll give him a 7 out of 10 for the dive. Um, but Shawnee State will have the free kick here on the close right side, just inside their own half. Caramel Martin takes it quickly. Short to his teammate Carlos Bravo. Whose ball is very wayward. Benjamin Cam will pick it up. Check like it's open in the middle. Plays a 1-2 with Benjamin Cam. His touch slightly lets him down. Ball is switched over now to Montenegro. Ball over to Milanofi now. Milanofi would deliver. Blocked away by the Shawnee State player. Only as far as Benjamin Cam though. That's relentless use of the wide areas. Both fullbacks have gotten forward. Good ball hey, in the ooh. box there. Ooh. Offside? I don't know if it's been given as offside or gone out for a goal kick. I'm not entirely sure. It looked like a goal kick. I think it went out yeah. for a goal kick. Um, it was a great ball in once again from Montenegro. Silva just couldn't quite find his feet inside the six-yard box. Shawnee State will look to retain possession here and relax onto the ball. But as we know, Rio Grande's press probably won't let that happen for too long. Bravo looks to go long. Does find. Fennin over on the other side. Chow Toledo. The ball's now on Nathan Ewing. Ewing does pick up the ball once more up from his goalkeeper. It's played off to Boss Kirken. I, I apologize. I'm going to butcher that name all night. So if... Uh, if, were, if their family's watching back home, I really do apologize. <laughs> Usually I'm pretty good with the international names, but that one's got me stumped. It's always said with good intent. As Correa is tested, well, nearly tested, he comes out, collects the ball. Now to Benjamin Cam. Rio will look to switch the ball over towards Montenegro now. Great ball played down the line for Nicholas Cam. Inside the box now. He looks to deliver towards the back post. Ooh. Just in front of Charlie Czechlak. He is able to keep it in though. Benjamin Cam. Cam will shoot. And it has actually gone out for a throw in in the end. Uh, after the shot. Uh, which is never what you want to hear when you have a shot. <laughs> um, however, it, it looked closer than it actually probably was in the yes, end. Yes, it did. From our, from our angle. Close to seeing a pair of substitutes for the University of Rio Grande. Yeah, it looks like Samuel Pedersen, uh, another of those second-year seniors, will come into the action. 
as well as Osvaldo Pereira. So two attacking-minded players coming on for the Red Storm. Ball won by McLaughlin. Gabriel touch. Silva. One, he's got one more to beat. Manages to beat him. What a call this is. Oh, Check like now. It's a good wow. save in the end from Bas Marcus. A really good opportunity there for the University of Rio Grande. Gabriel Silva with a winding run. That was great work from him. Bas Marcus has kept his team in the game. I believe he got a touch on the ball when um, Silva took a shot as well. He did, he did. He got a touch with his feet on the first shot and then managed to get across to save Czechlak's effort. Seems disappointed with himself as he's coming off that he missed that opportunity. Nicholas Cam will also be replaced. Benjamin Cam now with the corner. Didn't beat the first man. Comes out to Pereira. Czechlak now with the shot. Just can't quite keep it on target. It goes high and wide over the bar. And for out for a Shawnee State goal kick, which is taken short. Quick pressure from the University of Rio Grande. There's no way out for the Shawnee players. I will say with, with Pedersen, is what he does very well is that press. He knows the angles to go into the press at. He usually does it very well. Usually forces the players one way, doesn't give them an outlet anywhere else. Good. Good. From Caio Mazo Nagira. Osvaldo Pereira now. What a touch from him. Beats one. And then just does the sensible option of laying it off to his player. Over to Milanofi now. Osvaldo Pereira is a futsal player back home as, as well as playing the game outdoors and he definitely looks like it when he's on the ball Montenegro pushing forward now into McLaughlin to Benjamin Cam Milanovic on the overlap you will find him now oh. however Milanovic's delivery is poor and it does go out for a goal kick looks like Shawnee State will be making a change now as Thomas de Graw will come on to replace Jack Sharman Dodd Number 12, Tomas de Grol, into the lineup for the Bears. Shorty State go short with the goal kick once again. They're almost looking like they want to put themselves under pressure with this Red Storm uh, press. Shorty State real return. Possession inside their own half. Osvaldo Pereira does get an interception, but it will go out for Shawnee State throwing. It's Kikonda now. Ball does get rolled back towards Montenegro. Basso now. Looks to switch over to Montenegro. Back to Basso. Who again plays right. it down the line to Montenegro. Osvaldo Pereira is onside here. Inside the area now. Good challenge from the Shawnee State player in the end. It's a potential goal saving challenge. Shawnee State plays the ball forward. They've now got a free kick, possibly a chance to get numbers forward and look to test the University of Rio Grande. Looks like Rio Grande will be making another substitution shortly. Uh, we'll see Diego Martinez from, uh, from Santiago, Chile come on. That will happen now as Charlie Czechlak will be replaced. Rio looking to keep their legs fresh during this game. Diego Martinez on the pitch for the Red Storm. 
It's another player who's very effective coming in the game. Very quick. Kind of a little scrappy player. He'll just kind of go in and out of you. Be tough to uh, tough to stop him. Benjamin Cam now looking to get an early ball in. It's cleared away by Shawnee, but only as far as McLaughlin. McLaughlin has his shirt tugged. He's still going. No advantage given, though, and Ryo will have a free kick. Around 35 yards out. Maybe a little bit more than that. Pretty central, though. It's always a difficult difficult delivery from this kind of area of the pitch. I always, I always feel like free kicks are a lot better when they're out wide. You can kind of get a much better angle on the delivery. This yeah, kind absolutely. of angle, it's, uh, it's almost tough. It is played short, though, by Benjamin Cam to Montenegro. His delivery goes in. No one really in the box to attack it, however. Does get cleared. Basso will take it down. Looking for Milanofi. It's a good step by Vanderberg from Shawnee State. Gives his team a chance to regroup, find their shape before absorbing another attack from the University of Rio Grande. Good run from Pedersen, though. Wasn't spotted by Montenegro. However, the one looking for Martinez was. Good inception, though, from Shawnee. Will go out for a Rio Grande throw in. Yes. It was a good run. It, it, it sucked the fullback out wide and provided Montenegro or Martinez with space to run into. Montenegro delivers. Once again, not really many players attacking the ball over the head of Sam Pedersen and it easily into the gloves, gloves of Bass Marcus. Shawnee State will look to play out once again. Credit to Shawnee. They've, they've been vigilant. They, they've stayed committed to playing out of the back in this game. But it just looks like it's a matter of time before the press. I just feel like one of these times, them playing out the back is going to cost them. Um, Martinez now with the shot. Can't get enough on it. And it does roll through to Bass Marcus. Yeah, I do feel that that, press is, that playing out the back is just going to cost them. And they're going to give the ball away and... Royal Ground are going to pounce on it, and it's uh, it's looking like it definitely could could be happen at some point soon. Absolutely, it's hard to come in here and, and play. Um, very very few teams can can maintain their game model, their style of play when they come here to play a team like the Red Storm. Sometimes you have to adapt to to face the tough competition. Shawnee State will look to go long now. Flicked on. Milanofi heads away. Shawnee State regain possession, however. Looking to play forward. It's DeLang on this left side. He's got a runner in the box. His delivery looking for... Was... I thought it was looking for Kakonda. However, DeGraw came out of nowhere and uh, took the ball off his feet. It was cleared away, though, and Shawnee State will have a throw-in in the final third. Ball looking from DeGraw uh, was not the best one and does go out for a Red Storm throw-in. Machado now. Plays it across to Basso. Red Storm are good at switching the play very quickly. Pushing the whole team from one side to the other. It's a very easy way to wear out an opposition over time. Montenegro now. It Looks for Pereira. Is. You could see Montenegro making the run right there. Everyone knew he was going to get the ball. but Pereira was blocked. and the Red Storm do have a free kick. And probably a much better area to put a delivery into the box. Does look like it will be Montenegro who would deliver. Both center halves for the University of Rio Grande going forward. Montenegro to deliver now. Great ball into the box. Bass Marcus, though, comes and claims very well. He looks very commanding in his area. 
I think it's going to be one of those where the rest of the balls for the rest of the night, you're gonna, it's going to have to be drilled deliveries rather than floated ones because the floated ones he is just picking up incredibly easily. Redstone will look to come again, though. Mazo Nuegra is taken out there. It will be our first yellow card of the evening. And this is a, in shooting range. Van der Burr picks up the yellow card for Shawnee State. A rash challenge on an unrushing Mazo Nuegra. In a very good position here. We're about 27, 28 yards out. And an opportunity here, probably for Benjamin Cam to strike. Although Mazo Nuegra is lining it up as well. Milanofi is also having a late look at this. From the signs of it, though, it does look like it will be Benjamin Cam to strike this. Five in the wall for Shawnee State University. One does drop out now, so it will be four. It will be Benjamin Cam to strike. He does. Oh, he puts one on goal. It's on goal, but it is straight down Bass Marks' throat, so it will be easy for him to claim. Red Storm not really having any clear-cut chances. We've got about five minutes left of the first half. The press again, Pedersen. Oh, and it pays off. It is cut out now. Good shot in by Martinez is pushed away by Bas Marcus. Another save. He, he has looked good in the Shawnee State goal so far. The big man from Marum in Holland or the Netherlands or how many other names they have for their country. <laughs> Given away, though, by Thomas DeGraw, and it will go out for a row ground throw in. I said earlier he looked like Courtois. Maybe I should have said Edwin van der Sar or Martin Stecklenburg. Uh, I I, no one's van der Sar left. <laughs> that's, that's not even possible. We'll Benjamin Cam running bit. forward, though. Looks to play it through for Martinez. Does get blocked away by Shawnee. They will try to break now. Good strength there from Mazo Noguera. Montenegro and Martinez combining. Back out to this left side with Montenegro. Red Storm now just controlling the possession. Looking for the way to break through. Shawnee State have, do seem to be playing a back five here tonight, so it will be tough to break them down. Uh, Osvaldo takes too many touches in the middle of the field. Great ball across though from Benjamin Cam to Milanofi. Milanofi driving now. That'll be a corner. It will goal go kick. out for a goal kick. Looks like Milanofi just got it caught under his feet there. Yeah. Couldn't get the delivery in after the block. And that's been the nature of this first half. Before we can even say what's happening with uh, Osvaldo Pereira losing the ball. Shawnee's dealing with <laughs> the pressure again. The ball gets played out wide. I mean, it is non-stop from the Red Storm. They, they've been doing this for many, many years, this high press mentality, and, it, and it, it works. And once again, the high press causes an error from Shawnee State. There's the Red Storm will have a throw in. Is thrown into Milanofi now. Basso will look to drive forward. He'll find McLaughlin. McLaughlin looks for Montenegro. Good run from Montenegro. Delivery in. Again, the delivery is just looped in there, and it's easy for Bas Marcus in the end to come and claim. That ball's gone out for a throw. It would be great for the Red Storm if they were able to get one before halftime. Benjamin Cam now. I think 
think Ewan McLaughlin, that's the second time he's lost his captain's armband this first half. Uh, he's been, it's been all half. It's, <laughs> it, that's, that's not the second time. Brothers! Benjamin Cam now trying to break forward for the Red Storm. Delivery in. Osvaldo Pereira, not the tallest guy you'd want uh, at that back post. Does manage to regain possession over the Red Storm. Sends a player for the hot dog before laying it off. Pereira now will shoot. Thought it was going to skip off the surface a little, but easy for Bass Marcus to claim. And Shawnee State should, or hopefully will, just give the ball away again. I mean, yeah. it's, it's kind of how it's been going <laughs> the last couple of attempts they've had in possession. They've just given away throw ins or given the ball away cheaply to the Red Storm. Into the last two minutes of the game now, of the, sorry, of the first half. Shawnee State will be looking to get to half time with the scores level at 0 0. The Red Storm will be disappointed probably to be level at the break. Martinez finds McLaughlin. Back to Basso. Basso driving forward with it. Out to Montenegro on this left side. To Martinez now. Martinez will switch it over to Milanofi. To Pereira now. The shot that came in from Mazo Noguera was high, wide, and mighty. Not very mighty, actually, really. Uh, did go. Clear far of the goal, um, unfortunately. There will be another Shawnee, Sto Shawnee State goal kick. And that short sequence of play has been a good summary of how the first half has gone so far. Marcus's goal kick is not able to be kept in by the Shawnee State player. Basso now. Into the last minute of the half. Ryo will look to maybe have one more chance. This might be it, but Marcus is quickly off his line to claim. Got good starting positioning, the goalkeeper from Holland. And Shawnee will probably look just to keep the ball now and uh, wind down the clock until half time. DeGraw turns well on it. But his ball is uh, loose and Machado will pick up on it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, And with that, two, that will lead us to half-time here. Zero. Currently nil-nil between the University of Rio Grande and Shawnee State zero. University. Zero. It's been a good first half. Plenty of chances for both teams. Um, no goals, though, quite yet. Hopefully we'll see some in the second half. The Red Storm still looking to get their season really going um, and scoring a bunch of goals as they're used to. Absolutely. Shawnee State will be feeling a little bit better at the moment to be in the game 0-0, but it just looked like it was coming for the Red Storm. It did, and I think the press uh, was definitely working that first half, and hopefully we will see that press continue in the second half and we'll get, we'll get Rio pushing all the way in and uh, hopefully getting the, the, at least one goal in this second half coming and maybe a couple more on top of that. Absolutely. Well, we'll be back in about 15 minutes for the second half uh, as we look forward to this game. Obviously, earlier we had Rowe Grand Rugby's first ever home game, uh, which they rolled out winners 91 to 0. Uh, Exciting match that was. I mean, in incredible game to start off. Uh, Rio's first ever rugby season and then unfortunately our uh, Rio Grande women's team uh, women's soccer team uh, did lose 2-0 to uh, Thomas, Moore. Thomas Moore University uh, after going down to 10 men in the first half so we'll be back in about 10-15 minutes for the second half and we look forward to seeing you then
this year, I think in his first game of the year, he had a high in the record, and he scored three goals that year. And he's all the time scoring with him. So he's just adding to it. Well, when he gets it, he's got a nose to the goal, too. Yes, he does.
Back underway here then for the second half. Shawnee State get us underway. Looks like for both teams it is the original starting 11. Machado comes across, clears it out for a throw in. We'll say with, uh, when it comes to Machado, he's had an interesting four years, or well, nearly five years here at Rio. Um, came in, was injured his first and second seasons. Uh, picked up injuries that kind of kept him out for the whole year. And then, uh, obviously, his, his junior year, he, he was fit and healthy for most of it. And then last year, obviously, as well fit. And hopefully he remains fit for the rest of this year. But a couple of injuries kept him out. Shawnee State on the attack, though. Ooh. Good block from Milanofi. Benjamin Cam will come away with a ball. Being chased down by Fenin. Ball over towards Gabriel Silva. Again, Marcus with a good starting position in the Shawnee State goal. McLaughlin able to win that header and regain possession for the Red Storm. It's the most dangerous Shawnee have looked all game. Ball over, looking towards Nicholas Cam. Bass Marks' uh, positioning and starting position is, is very good. He's very quick out on those balls, especially for a big man like himself. Late challenge there from the Shawnee State player. Jack Sharman Dodd. And the Red Storm look to get it underway, but the referee stops it as he's... Having a chat with uh, with Don. I would say that is his final warning. I would probably agree with you. Red Storm looking to hold possession here. Asso plays it into Benjamin Camp. Looks to play it through towards Czechlak. Czechlak looks to deliver. Dealt with though by the Shawnee State players. And Bass Marcus will come and claim the loose ball. Fenin now tries to play down the line. Finds the lang. Melanophy does cut out though. Shawnee appear to be playing a bit more direct this half. I think they know that they can't just keep it around the back. Um, if they do that, they're just going to be pressed by that Rio team. So they've got to find a way to get it up the, up the field a lot quicker. Great ball looking for McLaughlin now. Good touch. Just for a red storm throw, taken quickly. McLaughlin beats one. Unable to beat the second, though. Shawnee will regain possession. Lose clearance though. Redstorm picked the ball up again. Checklack now on the edge of the area. Plays it to Good McLaughlin. He was on side but dragged his shot wide in the left hand post. It's a tremendous scoring opportunity for the Redstorm. Thing is, nine times out of ten, you back you and McLaughlin to score that. Oh, absolutely. It's usually so deadly in front of goal, and I know just by looking at him right now, he's ruining that missed opportunity. Shawnee will look to play now. Again, given away though. Nicholas Cam finds Czechlak. Loose touch from him. He does keep the ball, however. Beats a couple of players. I think if he'd gone down there, he probably would have won a free kick. They did stay on his feet. Here come the Red Storm again. Looking for Gabriel Silva. Once again, Bass Marcus quickly off his line and able to clear away. It's such a benefit when you can have a keeper like that who can just come off the line. means you can kind of keep a higher line as a defense and play the offside trap, knowing that, that your goalkeeper behind you is going to come and claim those balls and clear them. 
That's absolutely right. You always try to try to keep the space minimal between your your forwards and your back line. Opportunity for Shawnee here to break. This could be a little hard for Basso. I do think that Basso did throw an elbow in there. Uh, <laughs> I think I did see that. He got away with it. I don't think the referee spotted it, but it will go down as a free kick to Shawnee State. And back to your point about the, the goalkeeping, it makes everything easier. It makes the midfield's job especially easy when the uh, defenders can stay pushed higher. It closes the space for the opposition as well. It gives them less room to play in. And realistically, just makes everyone's life easier. Long switch now, looking for Fennin. Does well to keep it in. Basso, though, intercepts. Looks for Benjamin Camp. Man, that's a foul. Fennin just gives him a shove in the back. That's about the fourth time Shawnee have kicked the ball away now. I'm sure one more and the referee may well pull out a yellow card. Montenegro on this left side. Noguera looks to switch across to Milanofi. In towards Silva. Held up very well once again. Montenegro is making that run on the left side. Nicholas Cam lays it off to him. Oh, All in. And it just was in front of everyone, unfortunately. Milanofi couldn't quite direct it back into the path of any of the players in the middle. It was just in front of him as well. It will go out for a Shawnee State goal kick. Great opportunity, though. Another great ball from Montenegro. You know, those are the kind of balls you're really going to have to put in against this goalkeeper because anything high, he's going to come claim them. Absolutely. Along the, or, along the ground or driven low is, is definitely the way to go here. Again, high press from Rio Grande, forcing the turnover. Moreno clears. Fennin now. It's for Delang. Plays it back into Fennin on the overlap. Shawnee State will just look to retain possession here. For Shawnee to play all the way back to their goalkeeper. Delang looked like he came from an offside position there. Good play though. Right over the top. Montenegro does well to cover, however, is able to play it out to Milanofi. Switch across. Dangerous ball, really. Laguera finds Czechlak. Into McLaughlin now. Montenegro goes back to Basso. Into Benjamin Cam, who will look to run at Shawnee's defense here. He heads through to Milanofi. That ball was screaming out to be delivered there. I thought Milanofi was just going to hit that first time across the box. Montenegro now crossing. Again. Easily weighted ball straight into the hands of Bass Marcus. And Fennin will come away with it for Shawnee. Loose ball though, picked up by Nicholas Cam. Oh. Tried to do too much with it. And Shawnee, easy tackle. Here's their counter attack with Kikonda. You can tell he's never, he's not the type of player to ever shy away from a 1v1. Uh, he, I think he knows his speed, so <laughs> he's looking to take take it around players. Does look like uh, Shaman Dodd is down here in midfield. Does look like he's carrying an injury. Be interesting to see if he'll be able to continue in this game, or will that will be the end of his match.
does look like he is looking to continue. like he might have got a uh, hit to a one of the nasty parts. <laughs> one coming at the back! Come, seven coming! Surely State looking to attack here. Aguero does well, is able to clear. Silva looks to head on, but Czech like wasn't quite there for that for that head on. Surely look like they are a little bit more comfortable in possession this half, so far anyway. It's a good touch. Good work to bring the ball down from DeLang. Good hold up play by him as well. Shawnee State on the attack now. Fennin looking for the ball down the line. Milanofi does block the pass. It does go out for a throw in. Shawnee State still in possession here. Playing the ball around nicely. Ball in towards the middle. Carrera does well to come and claim that. I think he saw it late. And the attack has started quickly with Montenegro. Gabriel Silva now. Silva's got Benjamin Correa making a run on the outside. Aguero now into Czechlak. Plays a 1 2. Montenegro looking back to him. Kikonda's just a bit too quick for him though. Czechlak does block the clearance from Marcus. He will go out for a Shawnee State throw in. Machado wins the header. Benjamin Cam now. Milanofi on the overlap. Milanofi plays it into McLaughlin. We'll receive it back now. To Benjamin Cam on the edge of the area. Check lack now. Over to Montenegro. Looks to go in Silva, will fall to McLaughlin! And, and McLaughlin squeezes it through the legs of Bas Marcus. And the University of Rio Grande. It's the initial ball. It's a great ball from uh, Diego Montenegro there. Off the outside of his boot. Outside of the boot. I don't know if uh, Gabriel Silva flicked it through, but I'm not sure if it came off a Shawnee State player or Gabriel Silva, but it fell through nicely to Ewan McLaughlin, who was able to calmly slot it underneath Bass Marcus, probably the only place he could have put it, um, to make it 1-0 to the University of Rio Grande. And that's a goal that's been a long time coming. It has, and it may well open the floodgates here for Rio. Fennin now on this left side. Benjamin Cam gets a touch, but Fennin regains possession here for Shawnee. Driving at the Ch Rio defense now. DeLang. DeLang will look to deliver. Ball is too high and quick to, for any Shawnee State player to get anywhere near it. It will go out for a Rio ground throw in.
Diego Montenegro is in no hurry to take the throw. Jack Lack like turns try. well. Gabriel Silva now holds the ball up. Basso driving out of defense, finds Benjamin Cap. Looks to play it through towards Czechlak. Cleared away by Vosk Yulin. Benjamin Cam now. Uh, miscommunication there with his brother. I think uh, Nicholas thought he was going to Montenegro there. Shawnee State now here on the break. Ball played through to DeLang. He is offside. His shot was over anyway. There will be a booking here for Mazo Noguera. I'm not entirely sure why he was booked. See the restart after the offside call. Maybe. Maybe we'll see a restart eventually. I think there's still conversation <laughs> between the referee and Naguera about the reasoning behind his <laughs> yellow card. I think he's probably as stumped as everyone else. Anyway, Ryo get underway. They've got Benjamin Cam on this right side. He looks forward, looking for Czechlak. Great touchdown. <laughs> we'll go out for a throw in. After Bravo played it out, I think Bravo was calling for an offside there. Benjamin Cam now. Shoots from range. Ooh. And it's not far wide at all. Goal the goalkeeper saw it very late there. I think the goalkeeper will say he had it covered, but I don't not think quite he did. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he did at all. It was a great strike from Benjamin Cam. Venin goes high. Should be Machado's, is Machado's. <laughs> McLaughlin able to control it now. Naguera. Check like looks to turn. Was read by the Shawnee State player. DeLang going forward. His touch lets him down. It will go out for a row, grand goal kick. Good opportunity there for Shawnee. There wasn't really many people in the box, however, for the cross to come into. But DeLang will be uh, disappointed in his touch. Yeah, it's got to be frustrating for Coach Ron Goodson and his staff to see that. You're not going to force a turnover in the midfield very often from Rio Grande. And they get an opportunity like that and completely fail to capitalize on it. On the flip side, though, I'm sure Coach Scott Morrissey will be very happy about that touch. <laughs> Absolutely. Ball over, looking for check like once more. Bravo comes across. Is able, isn't able to keep the ball in play. Montenegro. <laughs> Good dodge work by the referee there. Don't want a second referee in two weeks to go down injured. Oh, what a bo Good ball in from Benjamin Cam, looking for Charlie Checklack. It's a goal-saving touch from Carlos Bravo of Shawnee. <laughs> Good just go from Kikone right there. Yeah, I feel like DeLang, that was, a, that was a foul out of frustration right there. Mm -hmm. He's starting to become very frustrated in his play. Does look like Naguera is, stayed, is staying down. I don't know if it may look like he's got cramp. He is back on his feet, thankfully, but he is calling for the change. You definitely hope that's all it is, is a cramp. You hate to see a player who's worked his way back from injury leave a game. 
Oh, 100 percent. And hopefully it's not a recurring injury of his foot as well. Does what looks good though is he is jogging off rather than uh, hobbling off. So that will give some kind of uh, benefit, I guess, to uh, see that happen. Absolutely. Looks like it's going to be Fernando Alvarez checking in the game for the Red Storm. Nope. It's going to be Diego Martinez who's going to come <laughs> on instead. <laughs> going to feel bad for uh, <laughs> Fernando <laughs> Alvarez who, who got called up and then decided, got told to sit back down again. That's the worst <laughs> feeling in worst feeling in soccer right there. Thinking Fernando is a, a right fullback. It's going to be interesting. I was thinking, what are they going to do? I thought what they could do, obviously, is, is move Callum Lanafi into the midfield. Yeah. And for uh, Alvarez to fit in at right back. Uh, it does look like Alvarez, though, is still going to uh, be making his way on soon. Ball over looking for Lanafi. Too much on it, however. And Bass Marcus will pick up. Ball just takes a bad skip off the ground. It, it's one of the interesting things about... Ebony Davis complex is it's almost like it's in its own little microclimate. Oh, 100%. You and don't know what the weather's going to be. <laughs> but Bass Marcus has, had, uh, has had, had a great game so far for oh, Shawnee State. I mean, he had eight saves in the first half uh, alone and um, has made a couple of this second half as well. Obviously was unfortunate with the goal that it went between his legs, but in a situation like that, there's not really much you can do as a goalkeeper. No, there's not. I yeah. know from experience. <laughs> <laughs> Melanophy now on this right side for Ryo. Check lag. Looks for Benjamin Camp. Fennin with a good challenge. Stop the run of Melanophy. It will be a throw in to the Red Storm. It looks like Callum Melanophy will make Alvarez way. Into the lineup for the Red Storm. Melanophy will make way for Fernando Alvarez. Melanophy's had a great game today. Yes, He's he been has. really, really busy down that right side, getting forward as much as he possibly can, been solid in defence as well. Uh, not a bad change, though. Not, not a bad substitute to have available to come on, though, in Fernando Alvarez. Absolutely not. Fernando, who's in his second year with the Red Storm, is a barber in his spare time. He is a barber in his spare time. He's been doing... Uh, he, he's kind of made that starting right back position his since he arrived. Um, Callum Malanafi had a couple of injury issues last year, which kind of stopped him from starting and, and kind of promoted Alvarez to that starting position. Uh, it's good to see Malanafi back fit, though, and he looks incredibly fit. Surely he tried to break now. Kick under on this right side. Looking to use his pace. Looks to receive it back. A good challenge from Montenegro in the end. Czech Lack will look to go over towards Nicholas Cam. We'll probably slow it down and wait for reinforcements to come with him. Oh. A challenge. Oh, and it's not a foul call. How has that not been given as a foul by the referee? I don't understand that. He's been taken out while he's tried to get. The uh, Red Storm coaches fairly unhappy with that decision, as I think everyone else is. Um, that, that honestly is a fairly shocking decision by the referee then not to give the free kick on Nicholas Cam. Uh, I know Nicholas, and he does dive occasionally, but that was definitely not one of those occasions. Oh. Absolutely not. So it's a throw in for the Red Storm. They will kick it back, though, to Shawnee. As Shawnee did play it out. Um, yeah, eventually it's played back to Bass Marcus in the Shawnee goal. Shawnee did put it out as Nicholas Cam was down, and then as soon as they played it out, he got up again. Not really surprising at all. Fennin now on the ball for Shawnee. Looks to go over the top. Basso does well. Play it into McLaughlin. Montenegro now on this left side. 
playing it around with Martinez. Martinez being the catalyst and couldn't quite slide that ball through to Benjamin Cam. Then Gabriel Silva almost capitalized on a pass from Fennin there. It was another good run from Benjamin Cam. He's looked dangerous this entire game with and without the ball. Shawnee's always got to keep track of where he is. Nicholas Cam Benjamin now Cam. trying to hold the ball up. Oh, and then Cam's a rash challenge by Nicholas Cam. Honestly surprised he's not going to pick up a yellow card for that challenge. He might for kicking the ball away. <laughs> <laughs> I think that might be Scott Morrissey's cue to bring Nicholas Cam off the field. Shawnee do have another player down. It's uh, Nicholas Ewing who is down currently. It looks like a change will be made as Thomas de Gruel will look to come on. Looks like the Red Storm are going to be making a double change again with uh, Osvaldo Pereira and Sam Pedersen coming back on. Same, I imagine it will probably be the same changes that were made in the first half for Nicholas Cam and uh, Gabriel Silva. Nicholas Kelm does definitely have that tendency, though, to uh, get a bit frustrated at decisions that go against him and absolutely. sometimes occasionally lash out <laughs> or against the opposition. He's an unbelievably skillful player, very passionate. Sometimes has a little bit of uh, a problem dialing Ooh, that's that bounce in. in here. The Lang looks to get on the end of it. Fernando Alvarez has to see it out for a corner. But a good opportunity here for Shawnee State. They haven't really been in the game that much this second half, but a good opportunity for them now. Yeah, and, and that's something that results from playing more direct teams like Shawnee. You know, they, they in games like this, might need to rely heavily on corners and set pieces to score goals. Looks like they've got a bit of a... Van der Burr to deliver now. Good ball in. Does come out to the other side. It was a strange setup from the Bears on the. Uh, they had everyone inside the six yard right box. Yeah. Um, which can work if the delivery is correct, but I think it was just a little bit too high on the delivery. Good challenge from Martinez. Montenegro will look to clear. Does win a throw in for the Red Storm. That double change will be made now. Or will it? Yep. No, it will be made now. <laughs> And once again, it is the same substitutions as we saw in the first half with Gabriel Silva and Nicholas Cam coming off for Osvaldo Pereira and Sam Pedersen. And from the look of it, Nicholas Cam is not, <laughs> not happy to be exiting the field. He's not happy to exiting the field, <laughs> and he is going as slowly as possible to walk off the field. <laughs> He was all the way over on the far side and decided to walk over the full length of the field. Number 11, Sam Patterson. They returned for the Red Storm. <laughs> Bit of banter between the two <laughs> brothers there. <laughs> Nicholas Cam finally leaves the field, so we'll be back underway. Diego Montenegro with the throw in. Yeah. Sam Patterson. Good bit of skill from Pedersen. Off the ball, Pereira goes down. He rolls around about 12 times in a second. <laughs> it was kind of impressive, honestly. <laughs> Kikonda is managed, does manage to decept Pedersen. Shawnee State, though, in their own area, playing it very tight. Not really sure what happened to Osvaldo Pereira there. <laughs> he kind of went down off the ball and... Once he saw he wasn't going to get the call from the referee, he was up. Oh, he was up in a heartbeat. <laughs> I suppose that's a very Brazilian style of play. <laughs> Good play from Fernando Alvarez right here. It looked like he got fouled. The referee's letting him play. He did look to have the shirt as wow. well of DeLang and almost just got away with one there. 
as <laughs> Fennin uh, blocks McLaughlin's pass. Uh, it will be a Red Storm throw in. Hard to believe there wasn't a whistle blown right there. Uh, either way, honestly. Yeah. With Delang goes straight through Basso. It's a late challenge. And he might see a yellow for this. He, he will see a yellow card. So Shawnee State will see their second yellow card of the game. I mean, it was a late challenge. It, I mean, the ball had already gone. I mean, that's a clear yellow card, really. I don't know how any of their the Shawnee coaching staff, which are <laughs> complaining why they're complaining. I don't see why they're doing that. Um, so challenge. that will be two Shawnee State players that have picked up yellow cards this game. Fennin now trying to attack for the Bears. Split over the top. Low goal ball kick. does go out for a goal kick. Just a little bit too much on that one. Sharman Dodd from Milton Keynes in England. It is good to see, though, that Shawnee State do have more of these international players they're bringing on. Uh, they've definitely uh, learned from other programs that the international route when it comes to the men's soccer here in the NAIA is the way to go. Um, Absolutely. And, uh, and not to sell them short, Shawnee does have a beautiful campus and they're a good school, but you're not going to get the top American players from youth clubs. and. No, you're not. I mean, they're, they're the ones who are going to end up going NCAA Division One. Shawnee State don't have that that pull, that attraction that maybe uh, maybe a D1 school would. Absolutely. And, yeah, looking down through the roster, um, being someone who's lived in Southern Ohio my entire life, it's it's interesting to look at the team and, and not personally know a single player who's on it. seems like I've always had friends who would come here to play and, and things, and, and not to sell my friends short, but <laughs> Shawnee's done a really good job of well, I mean, and it's only Improving. showing their performance. I mean, yeah. the last time I believe that Rao played against Shawnee State here at Ebony Davis Field, it was 14 to 1 wow. in favor of the Red Storm. Oh, there's a foul on Fernando Alvarez. I think the Shawnee State coaches were probably calling for a yellow card there out of uh, maybe amusement, we'll say. It's delaying again. Seems like a lot of their attacking play goes through him. Seems like a very nifty player, kind of like a, almost like a Kevin De Bruyne kind of type player that everything kind of goes through him. Absolutely. I just don't think he has the finesse of Kevin De Bruyne. <laughs> Benjamin Cam now on this right side to Alvarez. Fernando with space to play into. Alvarez looks for Pedersen. The clearance. Goes out for a corner from Bravo. It will be a good opportunity here for the Red Storm to put a ball into the box. I will say they just can't put it anywhere near the six-yard box because they can't have they can't make it easy for uh, Bass Marcus in the Shawnee State goal. It will be Benjamin Cam to deliver. Doesn't beat the front post, and Osvaldo Pereira picks up. To Montenegro now. Montenegro delivers. Ooh. Osvaldo Rodrigo Pereira Basso once again. Unmarked in the box right there. Benjamin Cam screaming for the ball over on this right hand side. He's in acres of space. Pereira plays it. Pedersen is taken out after the ball is delivered. Of, uh, the referee doesn't see anything in that. And Shawnee State will regain possession. Fen in now on this left side. Good interception there from Montenegro. Or Martinez, I apologize. Out to Alvarez now on this right side. Benjamin Cam's delivery. I think he tried with the outside of his right <laughs> foot there. It, I think it's still, the ball's still in currently. Osvaldo Pereira was one of the only people, as well as Bass Marcus, who realized the ball was still in play. <laughs> I think that everyone else thought it had gone out. But good thinking from Osvaldo Pereira. He does win a corner as well. 
As Marcus is now back in his own net. And it will be Charlie Checklack to take the corner. Ball is delivered. Benjamin Cam. He was calling for it. He was wide open at the back post there. Surely State looked to take goal kick quickly. McLaughlin does well to win that header. That would have been a fantastic goal if Nicholas Cam was, or uh, Benjamin Cam was able to put that on frame. I th he has the technique to be able to do it for oh, sure. Absolutely. I uh, just slightly miss, miss hit that one. Still got a pretty good connection on it though. He did. Alvarez trying to keep possession here. Fenin does well on the ground. <laughs> Benjamin Cam. They look down this left side, looking for DeLang. Basso does well to come across and cover on this right side. Shawnee are playing quickly, though. Into the box now. Feels for a handball from Shawnee. I think it went, given. I think it went straight into his gut, to be honest. He looked fairly <laughs> winded after that one. He still looks winded out there, so I don't think there was any suspicion of hand. I think it went <laughs> straight into his stomach, really. Oh, there's a bit. Ooh. Osvaldo Pereira nearly able to break. Kikonda is able just to put him off slightly with that sliding challenge. Kikonda was lucky, actually, he didn't clip mm -hmm. uh, Pereira, because if he did, probably would have been a yellow card heading his way. Kikonda has stayed down, though. Again, looks like he's got cramp. Seems like the Shawnee State players have been having a bit of recurring cramp issues. In fairness, they have been running the whole game. Yeah, and him especially. Yeah, Kikonda has been running a lot. Uh, also looks like uh, Vosk Yulin has uh, also gone down with cramp. So he's, he's stretching out there on the halfway <laughs> line. Number eight, Nathan Ewing returns for the Bears. Kikonda has made way, uh, which surely State will miss him on the field. He's been a presence for them all game. Absolutely. Benjamin Cam looks to go over the top, looking for Osvaldo Pereira. He's cut out well by Shawnee State. They look to break now. There's nowhere to go for the Shawnee players when they have the ball. No. Very tight marking there from Ewan McLaughlin. Good ball though into DeLang. The danger man forces Correa into a save. <laughs> I think that might be Correa's first save of the night. It um, might be. It was a sharp save as well oh, down at his on, near post. Hey! Save that had to be made. And it will be Van der Burr who will go over to take this corner. It's the best chance the Bears have had since the opening moments of the second half. Oh, for sure. That, of course, wasn't that wasn't a save from Correa. That was blocked by a defender. Here they are with this interesting. Ball in now. Doesn't beat Martinez, who's able to clear. And the Red Storm straight out to pressure Shawnee and win wow. a throw in. Love the commitment. Had two players there sprinting yes. out the box to try and close that down. Stop any return balls. Coming in, Correa now plays it over to Basso. Basso and Machado have uh, formed a pretty deadly centre-back duo over the last couple of years. Pedersen in towards Osvaldo Pereira. Just too much on it. And Bas Marcus is able to come and collect. Misses him by inches. How quickly, though, did the ball move? Nearly the full length of the pitch right there. One ball just cut Shawnee open. Shawnee living dangerously. 
Yes. Good inception from Alvarez. Check lag now. Playing it around with Diego Martinez. Goes out to Montenegro. Benjamin Cam. Martinez, he's got space in front of him. Strikes, but it's not a bad idea, really. From I mean, he had the space to shoot there, but didn't quite get a hold of it as he probably wanted to. So he dragged it wide at the left post. Shawnee will try and get underway quickly once more. Voskulin now on the ball for Shawnee. Looks to drive out of defense with it. His ball, though, is cut out by Alvarez. Machado now. Plays it into Benjamin Cam. McLaughlin picks up. Martinez skips away from his marker. Plays down the right side to Alvarez. Just touched away by Van der Burr. Ball played forward. Looking for DeLang. Uh, it will be a foul on And a booking Basso. for booking Basso. Foul. I don't understand how he's gone in for a header there. Um, Neri just gone in to win a header. It looked like DeLang was the one who actually committed the foul. Um, but a yellow card given to, uh, <laughs> Basso. to Rodrigo Basso. I just don't understand that decision from the referee. No. The first yellow card. I mean, even if, it, even if it's a foul against Basso, it's not a yellow card. It's not. It's, it's one of the softest yellow cards I think we've seen in a very long time. And there was no hesitation there either. He, he, he was straight, straight out with it. Book, yeah. I mean, it's not like Basso argued about it or no. anything. It's the first yellow card of the night for the University of Rio Grande. Pedersen does well. He's got check lads joining him. Osvaldo Pereira is also there. He goes back to Martinez. Martinez goes to Benjamin Camp. Over to Montenegro. Switched over towards Good Samuel Pedersen. Pedersen will look to take on his man. Delivery is blocked. It will go out for a Red Storm throw in. Which is taken quickly by Alvarez into McLaughlin. In towards Pedersen. Pedersen turns his man well. Looks to shoot. Was blocked away and cleared by Shawnee State. Silas Machado is always winning that header. Yes. Montenegro wins the second ball as well. Pressure from Osvaldo Pereira does well. Skips past one into the area now. Cuts it back to Benjamin Cam, who turns and shoots. Oh! And just misses, misses the right post. That's what Ryo can do to you. So quick. So quick on the counter. Good pressure from Osvaldo Pereira, forcing the turnover. And then the quick play into Benjamin Cam, who turned his player and looked to shoot. Unfortunately, just missing. Shawnee will look to play out once again. Good turn from DeGraw. Looks for DeLang now. Oh, Machado's just used his strength there to uh, ease DeLang off the ball, and the referees said that's a free kick. <laughs> chance for Shawnee to get the big men forward again. Back to the most recent chance from Rio Grande. It was wonderful individual play from Osvaldo Pereira and, and unselfish to find his teammate in the box. Uh, I think uh, if that's Osvaldo Pereira last season, he was shooting that. So uh, definitely shows that he's come on some too. Lay it off to Benjamin Cam. So there will be an opportunity here for Shawnee to put one in the box. I believe Thomas DeGraw is standing over the ball as is. Uh, Van der Burr could be the left footer on the in swinger here. It is ball in towards the middle. Moskulin tried to win the header, and it has gone out for a goal kick. I I thought that had come off the glove of uh, Correa there and would have gone out for a corner. However, the referees decided it was goal kick.
Kikonda. So Kikonda comes back in for Shawnee State for for their probably his last burst of the game. Jack Sharman Dodd is the one who comes off. And the Red Storm get back underway with Machado. Goes long looking for Pedersen. Pedersen who's gonna find his way onto this ball. He looks for Osvaldo oh, Pereira. Pereira still on it now. Goes down in the box and Referee wants none of it. Referee once again almost calls it as no penalty before the player's even gone down. <laughs> I don't think this referee wants any more uh, dodgy decisions. So he's just calling nothing at all. <laughs> Seven minutes left here tonight as uh, the University of Rio Grande still lead 1-0. I have to think there's going to be an opportunity to score a second. Does Shawnee have to commit more numbers forward? I, I would agree. I think uh, there could also be one more chance for Shawnee State here. Um, I feel like Rowe might see two or three chances, but I, I still think Shawnee's at least going to have one more chance tonight. Good ball forward by Alvarez into Czechlak. He's able to bring it down. Still in possession now. Still on it, Charlie Czechlak. <laughs> The ball seems to be glued to his feet. Alvarez managed to shoot from range. Easy for Bas Marcus to pick up. Could have been one of those where it was drilled along the ground, so it could have uh, skipped off the surface. Absolutely. This time of the evening tends to be a bit of dew on the grass. Credit to Marcus again. That's... We don't have the stats right in front of us, but probably his 12th save of the night. Uh, it's got to be, it's, it's definitely upwards of 10. McLaughlin looked to win, th to win the throw-in. It has gone the way of Shawnee State, however. <coughs> I don't know why Shawnee State are delaying the game here. I mean, they're the ones... 1-0 down. It's an interesting decision from them to do that. <laughs> They'll take another throw in here. Kikonda looks to pick up the loose ball. Martinez, though, has it. Very calm in possession. Machado now. Looks to switch it across. Looking for Alvarez. Alvarez plays it into Basso, who finds McLaughlin. McLaughlin's got space to run into. Plays a gorgeous ball over the top, looking for Osvaldo Pereira. Once again, Bas Marcus has come out. Misjudged the clearance, though. Ball delivered in towards Samuel Pedersen, who went for the uh, acrobatics in the area. That would have been a goal he'll never forget. A loose forget. ball. That could have been the chance for Shawnee. Montenegro now looking to deliver. Cleared away by Shawnee out for another corner for the Red Storm. Shawnee have previously been defending with 10 players behind the ball. They've now committed more numbers forward. Kikonda and Toledo are joining Kevin DeLang in the attack. Check lack. Beats one. Shoots. Oh, I think it's actually chance. come off the post there. I think that's hit, hit right off the bottom of the post and just scuttled wide. Another good opportunity there for the Red Storm. And I definitely don't think that uh, Bass Marcus had that one covered. <laughs> Shawnee tried to move it quickly. DeGraw looking for DeLang now. Good header from Machado. And cleared by Alvarez. Alvarez. Great, Great touch, touch from Montenegro. Montenegro. What a bit of skill. Given away though by Martinez. Montenegro now. Looks to play it forward, looking for Pedersen. Good, Good hold up play. Bring that down. Plays it into Osvaldo Pereira now on the left side. Oh, it's tackled away from just Osvaldo by Carlos Bravo of Shawnee needs to State. keep it in the corner. Don't give away anything there. Surely do well to get it away from that situation and look to go forward. Kikonda now picks up. 
is the man you definitely don't want running at you. Bravo now. T Toledo, sorry. Find De Benjamin Cam comes away for the Red Storm. Martinez. Check lack now. Back into Martinez. I'm sure the Red Storm will be happy just to keep possession for these closing few minutes. Ball's found its way back to Daniel Correa, who's content to stand with her for a bit. Surely really aren't pushing uh, high. Correa's clearance is not strong enough. Basso does well to clean up what could have been a sticky situation there. Clockley comes away with it. There's a counter-attack on for the University of Rio Grande. Pereira now running at Shawnee State's goal. Still on it, Pereira. Osvaldo Pereira's oh, get taken down. Just well, outside the box. This has got to be, got to be a card. yellow card. It is. Carlos Bravo will pick up the yellow card this time. It's a free kick in a dangerous area. Just on the edge of the area. It's almost actually, you almost think it's too close. Uh, it's very difficult from this range to get it up and over a wall and down again. So it will be interesting to see uh, the tactic used. I know from this kind of range a lot of people try to go the goalkeeper side. Uh, just because it, that dip is, is very difficult to get. So it will be interesting to see here who will take it. I think it will be Benjamin Cam once again. However, Looks Diego like Martinez, Martinez wants it. <laughs> is standing over it as well. I don't think Benjamin Cam is going to allow him to have it though. It will be Benjamin Cam. Shoots. Ooh, Ooh, off the par. Almost manages to get it up and down. Didn't manage to, though. Marcus tries to get them underway quickly. McLaughlin does well to head away. And the Red Storm regain possession through Charlie Czechlak. Montenegro switches over to Alvarez. You can hear Coach Scott Morrissey telling his boys to keep the ball. They've got a lead. They just need to see the game out. Van der Burr plays it forward. Looking for Toledo now. Toledo still on it. A shot from Shawnee. Oh. And it's a great strike in the end. Wow. What a strike that is. Guillermo Martin from Malaga, Spain. Take a bow. That is an unbelievable strike. The shining goal scored by Guillermo Martin. This game may be heading to extra time. With a minute and 33 left in the game, Gamer Martin has picked up an absolute worldie, honestly. He will never forget scoring that goal. Oh, he won't, especially in front of this uh, Red Storm crowd that definitely aren't celebrating the fact that they have to probably be here for at least another 10 minutes. <laughs> But that, that's what it was. A, it was a, I told you there was going to be one chance for Shawnee, and that was that was. chance. You were absolutely right, and they did not fail to take it. Will the Red Storm be able to regain now after that? Charlie Check, like now on the ball. See Benjamin, Benjamin Cam wanting the ball all the time. There is still time left in this game. Benjamin Cam now running towards Shawnee's defense. Oh, he looks for Martinez. It's not gone out for... Benjamin Cam seems <laughs> to think that it's gone out for a corner. <laughs> it certainly didn't look like a corner. It looks like Benjamin Cam will pick up a yellow card for uh, talking to the assistant referee. <laughs> Not quite, not sure what words were used, but I can't imagine they were particularly polite. <laughs> remaining in regulation. I doubt it. And he's similar to his brother. He's a very passionate player. I, I was commenting a second ago, it, it's funny how he always wants the ball, which which that's that's the sign of a good player, right? You should always want the ball, but... Of course, but... He's always got his hands he's, up he's, asking He's for always it. looking for <laughs> it, but he's, he's always finding himself in space as well. Yes. 
very intelligent player. Into the last minute of the game now. McLaughlin finds Alvarez. Looks over the top looking for Benjamin Camp. Benjamin Cam still on it. Finds oh. check lack. Looks back to Benjamin Cam. Basso will control the ball. Looks for Machado. Wondering if it will be one last pump into the box by the Red Storm. Is a deflection off Machado's clearance and will be a Red Storm throw. Eight, seven, six, five, four. And with that, full time here at Ebony Davis Field. The score is 1 1. And as it is in the NAIA, we will be heading to overtime or extra time, as you know, the whole world calls it, apart from America. Um, so, how it works is we have two periods of 10 minutes, it's golden goal for those who haven't been watching before. I mean, after that after that game, I you want to back the Red Storm, but I mean, when Shawnee State have a moment of brilliance like that, Absolutely. it's difficult not, it's difficult to say they c it couldn't happen again. So I don't want to completely ride out the Bears here. Uh, they've looked like a very good side. It's probably the best Shawnee State side I've seen in a very long time. Um, so it, it, it's, it's going to be a test for the Red Storm and, and they have been tested all season so far. Uh, they haven't really had an easy game this year. I mean, we just we just received the stats now and I mean, Bass Marcus, nine saves. Nine saves. Um, I'm not quite sure how he's only been registered with one save this half. It feels <laughs> like he's, it feels like it's been a lot more than that. Um, but nine saves during the game. Obviously, uh, Daniel Moreno only uh, has one to his name. And then obviously both sides with one goal apiece. I mean, Royal Grand have been definitely uh, dominating in the shot department with it being 23-6 to six <laughs> in favour of Royal Grand. Uh, I think the, the, one, the one real issue, though, is a lot of those shots weren't on target. And... Uh, and realistically, I mean, I know Bass Marks has nine saves, but he hasn't been tested with a lot of those. Uh, they've been fairly comfortable straight at him. So the Red Storm do need to test him more in this extra time period. Hopefully they will be. And we'll be back in a couple of minutes for extra time. All I just saw was a frozen line going like this. I was thinking, is somebody far post or near? And they just stretched it back in. I was watching Yeah. 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 Yeah.
We'd like to welcome everybody back for the extra time period. Shawnee State will begin with the ball. Their captain, Jacob Toledo, stands over the restart. Looks like a couple of changes made uh, after the end of regulation. Gabriel Silva's come back on for the Red Storm. Sam Pedersen and Osvaldo Pereira stay out there. Touched away by Ewan McLaughlin. He is holding his hamstring after that, so I hope he hasn't tweaked something. Absolutely. Basso now plays it into Alvarez. McLaughlin's certainly walking with a little bit of a limp, so keep an eye on that as the game goes on. In the meantime, beautiful switch of play to Diego Montenegro. He looks Gabriel good. Silva appeals for a handball. When it clearly hit him in the chest, I'll just add. <laughs> ball taken in quickly, looking for Gabriel Silva to hold the ball up. He does well to find Pereira. Finds Benjamin, Benjamin Cam. Pedersen now shoots. Ooh. High and wide of the goal, unfortunately. It will be a goal kick to the Bears. Bravo now. Looks to find Kikonda. A little bit too much on that pass. Montenegro will look to get the ball in quickly. Osvaldo Pereira flicks on towards Gabriel Silva. <laughs> More appeals for a second hand ball. Which again hit him in the side. <laughs> Shawnee State starting to lose favour. Big collision there between Toledo and McLaughlin. McLaughlin has stayed down. The ball has continued to go forward though. And Van der Burr is able to put the ball out for a throw in the Red Storm. Yeah, McLaughlin uh, definitely came off worse in that collision. Not entirely sure what part of his body is hurting. Probably all of it, honestly. Looks like that was a full body contact. <laughs> Something we'd expect in the rugby field Absolutely. earlier today. Okay, restart with the throw in. McLaughlin is uh, gingerly making his way forward. I think that might have hit him in the <laughs> rather nasty areas as well. Had a couple of those this game. Ball played forward now. Gabriel Silva holding up. Tries to turn. He's taken oh. down in the box. Appeals for Once again, not given by the referee. Good pressure from Montenegro. Pereira also pressing now. Back to Marcus, who clears. McLaughlin brings it down. To Benjamin Cat. Montenegro will relax on the ball now. 
in towards Osvaldo Pereira. All right, Montenegro. Oh. Ow. I don't feel like that was a, I think that's a soft foul given against him. Eli Mura for Shorty State. I'm not going to try and pronounce where he's from. <laughs> Once again, the high press from the Red Storm. Flicked on by Montenegro. Machado. He's shielding that ball out. He doesn't realize it's well. off. Will be a throw in to Shawnee. Kikonda now, trying to drive at the Red Storm defense. Good defending from Machado to knock the ball away. Check, like, looking over the top, looking for Osvaldo Pereira. He's in here. Oh. And again, brave goalkeeping from Marcus. I mean, he's, uh, he's he's quick out on everything. He didn't get there on that one, though. Was lucky that um, Osvaldo Pereira wasn't able to keep get that down or find another player. Gabriel Silva tried to flick it on, but he was never scoring from that range with his head. McLaughlin now. Plays it out to Czechlak. Check like driving infield now. Gabriel Silva oh, turns. It's a good turn. Will be a goal kick in the end. Felt like he was sliced down slightly there uh, by Voskulin, but I think he had got the shot away before anyway. Surely State play it short once again. Bravo. Switches across Good ball. for Van der Burr. Awesome. Chance here for Shawnee State. Ball in, cleared partially by Machado and then flicked on by Czechlak. It's a dangerous attack from Shawnee State. Ball forward was a little bit of a miscommunication there from the Shawnee State players. Basso now plays it into Czechlak. Gets it back. Dangerous bouncing around their own area there. Clearance is as far as Czechlak, who is able to win possession. Driving forward now, finds Benjamin Cam. Forward to Van der Burr, who will clear. Basso finds McLaughlin. Plays it across to Montenegro. Montenegro beats one. <laughs> Plays it into Osvaldo Pereira, who delivers. It was a good delivery from Osvaldo Pereira. Gabriel Silva was there lurking. Good header in the end from the Shawnee State player. We'll go out for a corner, uh, which... Maybe taken quickly, is taken quickly by the Red Storm. Pedersen finds Benjamin Cam. His delivery is deep, looking for Machado. Falls to Basso. Oh. Out to check like now, who will go back out to Benjamin Cam, who would deliver once more. Good ball in. Oh. Good Pushed punch away, from, away Marcus. from Marcus. Again, check like picks it up. With a shot, deflected off uh, Osval Shawnee State defender. Osvaldo Pereira now delivers. Again, Shawnee holding strong at the back. It will be another corner for the Red Storm. Charlie Checklack will come across to take it. There you go, short again to Montenegro, who delivers. And boom, it will be a penalty, a penalty to the Red Storm. Feel bad for Nathan Ewing, who accidentally handled the ball in his own area. It will be a penalty. For the Red Storm, it looks like it will be captain himself, number 10, Ewan McLaughlin, who will step up to take the penalty. And Ewan's played a good match. He's had a great game today. And uh, you often back him to take a penalty. Um, obviously, today he's coming up against a fairly <laughs> giant goalkeeper. 
It'll be interesting to see if uh, Bass Marcus will have any ways to try and distract McLaughlin. Yeah. I think gold definitely looks smaller with him standing in it. Ewan McLaughlin now to take the penalty. Steps up. And oh, misses. Oh, and he's missed it. He sent Bass Marcus the wrong way. However, sends it just over the crossbar. And we continue playing. <laughs> we keep on going. Ewing's uh, blushes have been spared there, for sure. Had the referee stop the play. And it looks like we've got a yellow card. For the coach um, on the sideline, uh, the assistant coach, I think it is, that should be booked. I believe that is uh, Ryan Warner, who has picked up the yellow card in the referee's book. I'm interested, if a coach gets a red card, do they have to miss the next game? I believe so. They do? Mm -hmm. Okay. I, didn't, I, I wasn't aware of that. Yep. Well, let's hope he has a little bit more uh, talking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm messing. <laughs> Shorty State do only have uh, their head coach and one assistant, compared to the Red Stormer, who have five coaches total, including uh, Scott Morrissey, who is in his 33rd season as head coach of the Red Storm. Built this program up from absolutely nothing. Uh, one of the worst programs in the NAIA and turned it into a two-time national championship winning side. So That's good for him. Scott's one of the most fantastic <coughs> recruiters I've ever seen. I mean, all you have to do is look at the players in his side to see that uh, that's definitely the case. Surely State will look to break here. Does fall to Basso. Comes across to Montenegro now. Into Czechlak. Oh. Just taken away from Montenegro on the return ball. The ball forward does run through all the way to Correa. Machado now. Drives forward with the ball. Also a futsal player back in Brazil, Silas Machado. Very good with his feet, Absolutely. as well as with his head. Uh, <laughs> He's a very complete player. Into the last two minutes of this first extra time period. Jack Lack receives the throw in short. Montenegro has it on this left side. Does lose out. Shawnee State will try and break here. Ooh. Looks like McLaughlin did get an elbow to the ear. He's quick to get back to his feet, though. He's going to have a hard time getting out of bed in the morning. <laughs> yeah. I, I will say Ewan is one of the most fouled players that we have uh, at Rio. Over the four years, he just gets fouled all the time. Um, Ball played forward now into Gabriel Silva. Good hold up play. One minute. Pereira. One minute remaining. Finds Benjamin Camp. Alvarez on the overlap now. Alvarez delivers. Four players in the box. Goes over and behind everyone. And Kikonda will be able to break away here for Shawnee. Bravo. Will go out for a Rio Grande throne, which is taken quickly. However, the referee has pulled it back. <laughs> Apologise for any language you might have heard from uh, <laughs> one of the assistant coaches down below. Ball does go out for a goal kick for Shawnee State, who are in no rush no hurry. to take this at all. Bass Marcus Man. will probably walk Nine, this over to the other side. Eight, <laughs> seven, six, I think he's taken five, about 20 seconds four, of this goal kick three, two, and still isn't even going to take one. it <laughs> as he walks off the field. <laughs> So there we have it, uh, the end of the first extra time period. We will have one more period of extra time to try and settle this game.
if it does remain goalless after the second extra time period, it will end as a tie. Um, we don't have penalty shootouts at this stage yet. Obviously, that will come in once we start getting into conference games, which uh, actually kick off for the Red Storm next Saturday here uh, at Ebony Davis Field. Unfortunately, I won't be here for any of the games next weekend. So I'm going to miss out on the rugby game and both men's and women's soccer games. Unfortunately, I'm at a wedding next weekend. So, uh -huh. Is it your wedding? It's not my wedding. <laughs> I can confirm because I know that my mother's watching and listening in. It's not my wedding. So 10 more minutes for the Red Storm to try and break the deficit here. A golden opportunity in that first extra time period for Ewan McLaughlin from the penalty spot. Well, the players took. Here we go then, McLaughlin to Alvarez now. Ball given away. The Shawnee goal scorer sends it long. Red Storm regained possession though. Montenegro on this on the left side. Look to find McLaughlin. It's cut out though by the Shawnee State player. They will look to drive forward. Good turn from DeLang. He does get blocked off in process, and Shawnee State will have a free kick. Wow. In a good position to put a delivery into the box. In fairness, he was blocked off. So <laughs> it's one of those free kicks you can't really argue with. Van der Burr and Thomas de Graw standing over the free kick. I imagine once again it will be... Thierry van der Burr, who will deliver for Shawnee State. Diego Montenegro with a good header away. Benjamin Cam looks to break Sam Pedersen away down this right-hand side. Alvarez trying to overlap now. Gabriel Silva on the edge of the area. Trying to get the ball under his feet. Finds Alvarez. Alvarez crosses... Pedersen. Check left. Did you check left? the game. Oh, no, it's, it's offside. It's going to be called out for offside. I thought that Charlie Checklack had put the ball into the back of that to win the game for the Red Storm. However, it will be called offside. Disappointment for the Red Storm. I don't know if he was offside. I, I, we can't really see it from this position. Uh, also just saw that Nathan Ewing is definitely looking to uh, make his way off the field. He's limping pretty badly, the Shawnee State captain. Balls won by Silas Machado. I, I do have to say play. that Bass Marcus is taking his sweet time. Yes, he is. Um, with, with taking these goal kicks and free kicks. And, and the referee is telling him that the clock's rolling. But the referee should just stop the clock at this point. Mm -hmm. He should. Looks like he's having a word with Marcus right now. But that's not going to stop him doing it's not. it. No. It's gamesmanship. It happens. Mm -hmm. But the only way to stop it from happening is by stopping the clock. Absolutely. As we said, Nathan Ewing will be making his way off the field. He'll be placed by Jack Sherman Dodd, who will come back on. The senior from Milton Keynes, England. Good shift from Nathan Ewing out there today. Uh, it looks like he's, uh, his knee or something is causing him a lot of agony. He's been limping around. Basso almost loses that possession. Machado is able to cover, though. Correa plays it to Montenegro. Monte! 
Benjamin Cam is open on this right hand side. Montenegro tries to switch, but Van der Burr is able to intercept it. Charlie Czechlak now looks to switch it, looking for Osvaldo oh, Pereira. Ball. It's a great ball. Osvaldo Pereira. Oh. Gabriel Silva as well. I think it will be, it should be a goal. It should be a corner. It has been given as a goal kick. I thought it did come off a Shawnee State player there. A great opportunity there for the Red Storm. But another save for Bass Marcus to add to his, uh, his collection for the night. I think if we would have to give one man of the match tonight, it probably would be him. Yes, absolutely. And and the times he's used his feet, the times he's come out and, and disrupted play, um, those, those things don't appear in a stat book, but very he's, valuable to his team. He's uh, he's definitely been invaluable for his team tonight. Gabriel Silva will look to flick on. Silva is a judge to be offside, though. Thought the referee was going to call for a push in the back against Gabriel Silva there. Shawnee State will play it short. Ball is switched. Looking for Toledo now. Good tackle, Good tackle by Silas Machado. Benjamin Camp on. looks to find Sam Pedersen. Keeper comes out Again. once again and does well. I think Sam Pedersen pulled out of that at the last second. I feel... Like there was an opportunity there, he could have taken the ball around the keeper, and if the keeper takes him out, there's a strong yep. call for a red card right there. Oof. Check like tried to find Benjamin Camp. McLaughlin bro blocks the clearance though. Falls to Alvarez. Alvarez crosses. Unfortunately, again, looking for Osvaldo <laughs> Pereira, the shortest man on the field. Oh, that's going to be a yellow card. It will be a yellow card for Diego Montenegro. As much as he tries to run <laughs> away from the referee, that yellow card is always coming. <laughs> Shawnee State will look to slow things down once again. Thankfully, the clock is stopped this time. I think Diego Montenegro was trying to get a piggyback ride right there. <laughs> It'll be Carlos Bravo to take the free kick for Shawnee State. Bravo's free kick finds Toledo, who plays into the danger man, Talang. There will be a Shawnee State throw in on this close side. If you're wondering why we're not speaking that quickly, we can't. We don't have the best <laughs> view straight down the lines here. Being blocked by the dugouts. Does fall to Basso, who finds McLaughlin. To Machado now. Looks for Gabriel Silva. Tries to flick, the flick ball on. Sam Pedersen almost gambled on that perfectly. Uh, Fool does go out. Montenegro gets the ball in quickly, though. Czechlak finds McLaughlin. Referee once again getting out of the way fairly nimbly. Ball looking for Osvaldo Pereira. He does keep the ball in. Pereira drives it in. And a good header in the end from Carlos Bravo over the bar. It will be a corner to the Red Storm. Coaching staff urging the corner to be taken quickly. Diego Montenegro was wide open. No one around him. The ball's going to be Check played into now. the box. Great delivery. Ooh. Ooh. I thought Basso, Rodrigo Basso had a chance there. It just fell wide of the right side post. And once again, Bass Marcus will take his sweet time with this goal kick. It's a golden opportunity for Basso to win the game. Just seems like it's coming. Three minutes to go in this second extra time period. Pedersen is gambling. It's a high foot against Sam Pedersen. The referee has given it. 
Van der Burr tried to clear it after Sam Pedersen had headed it away from him. Almost took Pedersen's head off. It's another chance for the big men to get the, forward. The, for the Surely Storm. State coaches are complaining that he won the ball even though he kicked it in the face. That makes sense. <laughs> the ball will be delivered now. Bas Marcus comes and punches away. Czechlak will look Ooh. to to find uh, Benjamin Cam. It is cut out well by Guillermo Martin. It's a vital touch away. Another ball delivered in. Punched again. That was one where I thought Bas Marcus would have come and held that one. And it does go out for a Shawnee State throw in. As Joao Toledo has gone down. This will stop the clock with around two and a half minutes to go in the match. Yeah, you have to say the whole uh, the Red Storm team is incredibly passionate when it comes to everything uh, on the field. They will give their rule and they definitely leave it, leave everything on the field, no matter what game they're in. That is absolutely true. There's not a single player out there you could fault for their effort. I definitely think we need to work on getting heat maps, though, because it will be interesting to see Absolutely. some of our players and how much they run. Need to invest in some of the uh, the Titan GPS. Oh, 100%. Um, Ball goes forward. Bass Marcus will pick it up and drop to his knees and waste all the time he can. Hopefully, the referee won't allow him too much. Oh, he actually goes quicker than I thought he would. McLaughlin wins the header. To Pedersen. Finds check lag. Ooh. We looked to find Benjamin Cam. It was cut out by Shawnee State, though. Hey! Ewan McLaughlin not happy there with the challenge by Jack Sharman Dodd. Shawnee finally do. Oh, they are picking up a yellow card there. It's Guillermo Martin who has been booked. Finally, the referee does decide to stop the clock after about 30 seconds after the foul. You would think there should be some time added on. Yeah, you think you should add that 30 seconds Reset, back yeah. realistically. Because Shawnee wasted that entire time. One minute, 16 seconds left here. There is one more chance, surely, for the Red Storm here. Czechlak will look towards the back towards Machado Bas Marcus again coming out and claiming well you, you have to give it to him he's been doing it all night he, he's been excellent in the Shawnee State goal uh, the referee has stopped the clock once more I'm not sure who it is who's down currently but one of the Shawnee players is finally getting back to his feet I think that might be Bravo. All right, play will resume with around a minute to go. And of course, the goalkeeper who had it in his hands will drop it. One minute remaining in the match. We're in the final 60 seconds of the match. Pedersen now. It's a good touch forward from Basso. Finds McLaughlin. McLaughlin looks for Benjamin Cam. He will run it all the way is unable to keep the ball in. It will go out for a Shawnee State throw-in. They will take their sweet time Absolutely. getting this ball back in. Van der Burr will eventually throw it in. Benjamin Cam wins a throw-in here for the Red Storm. You get the feeling there could be one last chance They've in the dying seconds of the match. They do have to go quickly, though. It's a long throw from Alvarez. Ten, nine, McLaughlin. Check luck! Oh. Six, five, and four, Shawnee State three, are absolutely nine, ecstatic with that four. result. Disappointment for the Red Storm here. Shawnee State are celebrating a draw. Wow. So, I mean, if that shows you 
how this game has been panning out the whole time. Uh, then I don't know what will, really. <laughs> so, with that, Shawnee State go to 3-1-1 one, and one on the season, and uh, Rio Grande go to 3-2-1. and one. Disappointing, really, for the Red Storm. They would have been looking to get the win over Shawnee State to take it to 4-2. and two. The Red Storm, however, Johnny will State return three, one, and one on the uh, this Wednesday, uh, the, the Red Storm 15th, will be back in action uh, right against here the University Wednesday of night. Northwest Ohio, UNOH, the here at 7 p.m. at Ebony Davis Field. I'll have to check if I'm actually available for that one. I don't we think I am. I think I'm traveling. So. Thank you everyone for tuning in this evening um, and watching however many games you've watched today. It's been an exciting day of sport here at Rio Grande. We thank you for being here and uh, wish you a good night. And Absolutely. Um, I know I, I personally, my, I began around 8 o'clock this morning watching the Premier League and it's now 10 o'clock at night. And, <laughs> <laughs> and we finally finished. Match, so. So. <laughs> All right, thank you very much everyone. Have a good night.